Secure both halves of pivot mount with carriage bolts and nuts. Slide square nuts into channels in mounting plate. Secure pivot mount to mounting plate by threading bolts with flat washers and lock washers into square nuts in channel. Center pivot mount on mounting plate and finger tighten all hardware. At rear of trailer, align center point of mounting assembly with center line of box. Measure down 47 to 55 inches from top of end cap and mark holes in top and bottom groove. Drill holes at marked locations. Attach mounting assembly to box wall by turning self-threading bolt to cut threads, then turn back out. Secure using bolts. When possible, use nuts on backside. Ensure pivot mount is centered on box, then tighten all hardware. Bolt pivot arm to slant bracket, with wide side up using carriage bolts and nuts. Ensure keyway and pivot shaft is pointed down. Next, bolt pivot arm with slant bracket to pivot mount using carriage bolts and nuts. Leave bolts loose for now. Raise rear spring arm up at 90 degrees in vertical plane to tube and mark. Then measure 3 inches back from mark and make second mark. Cut off excess roll tube on second mark. Slide inside collar and inside tube wear bearing onto roll tube. Raise arm and slide onto roll tube. Slide another tube wear bearing onto outside of arm. Assemble tube wear bearings to arm flange with bolts, flat washers, and serrated nuts. Turn nuts tight. Do not over tighten. Align arm with vertical plane 90 degrees to roll tube and hold in place. Slide outside collar on roll tube and position both outside and inside collars 2 inches from tube wear bearing. Secure collars with self-drilling Phillips screws. Refer to included instructions to complete wiring.